For this video, I'd like to talk about one-step equations using multiplication and division. So you can see we have this problem, 6g equals 48. And remember that when you see a number and a letter next to each other, we assume that they're multiplying together. So this is 6 times g gives us 48, and we need to figure out what g would be. So with these types of problems, it's generally a good idea to first think about it in terms of English, to try and interpret this equation in words, and then to try and solve it mathematically. So when you see 6g equals 48, you can think of this as 6 times some number gives us 48. So let me write that down. So the way to interpret this is as 6 times some number gives us 48. And with this interpretation, you might even be able to guess your way to the answer, since we know that 6 times 8 would give us 48. So in this case, you can actually guess that g would in fact be equal to 8. Now, many of these problems, the answers are going to be fractions or decimals, and it's not really practical to try and guess it. But for some of them, or at least the simpler ones, you can kind of think your way through to the answer. But at least starting with this English interpretation will give you a feeling for how the problem should go. And at this point, though, we need a mathematical way to solve this. So you might recall from the video on one-step e equations with addition and subtraction, that you want to think in terms of opposite operations. So let me write that down just as a reminder. So think in terms of opposite operations. All right, and remember what I mean by that. In the previous video on addition and subtraction equations, we used addition to cancel out subtraction and vice versa, since adding and subtracting are opposite operations. They cancel each other. Likewise, multiplying and dividing are opposite operations. They cancel each other. If I take 3 and I multiply it by 9 and divide it by 9, the 9s effectively cancel each other out and I just get back to 3. So for this particular problem, let me rewrite it. We have 6 times g equals 48. And we know the goal for all of these problems is to get our variable isolated on one side equal to some number. So in this case, we want g equals something. And to get that, we first have to get rid of this multiplication by 6. So think in terms of opposite. What is the opposite operation of multiplication? How can we cancel that out? And the opposite of multiplying is dividing. So I will divide by the same number that I'm multiplying by. Since 6 divided by 6, if I write it over here, something divided by itself is always equal to 1. So you'll just end up with g effectively. But you can't just divide one side of the equation by 6, because then you would just get g equals 48. And we know that 6 times 48 does not equal 48, so that wouldn't make sense. What we have to do is the same thing to both sides of the equation. So we have to divide the right side by 6 as well, and that's where we get that g is equal to 8. And we know this is true because if we plug it back in, 6 times 8 does equal 48. So just keep in mind that if you do one thing to one side of the equation, you have to do the exact same thing to the other side of the equation. Otherwise, you completely change the equation and you're going to get an answer that doesn't make sense. So let's move on and try and do some other questions now that we have the strategy down. So again, we're thinking in terms of opposite operations for all of these. So C divided by 8 equals 9. I'm just going to write it over here so that we can work on it. And in this case, we have division. Our goal is to get c equals something. But right now, c is divided by 8. So we need to cancel out that division by 8, and we can multiply to do so. And remember, you want to multiply by whatever you're dividing by. So in this case, I'm going to multiply both sides of the equation. you got to do it to both by the number 8. Since I know that 8 divided by 8 on this left side, you have 8 over 8, that's just going to be 1. Something divided by itself is always 1, so those cancel, and you get c is equal to 9 times 8, which is 72. Now, once you get an answer, remember, you have to check it. You have to plug it back in to see if it makes sense. So we're going to plug in c right there, and so you get 72 divided by 8, and the question is, does this equal 9? 
and 72 divided by 8 does equal 9, so that, which means we can feel very confident that C is, in fact, 72.